Hello random person, Sab Nino here. Welcome to Sab Talk 61. The question of this week is, who's your favorite character in the Grunge Bunch Chronicles? Last week's question was, what's your favorite video game? SBS 10 Animation says, my favorite video game was Sonic Colors, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom Original and Rehydrated, and Minecraft. Mpac says, Battle for Bikini Bottom, both the OG and Rehydrated. Nautical Man says, my fave game is definitely BFBB. Jose Gastelum says, My favorite video game is Sonic Colors Ultimate. Have you played that game before? I'll get back to this later. I don't have any news this week, so let's just jump right into Sab Story Time. Collecting! Part 2. We all collect stuff, right? I'm assuming most of my audience does, especially after doing a poll of what kind of sad story times you want to see more of. So I wanted to tell you guys even more collecting stories, but this time not all of them are Spongebob themed. Typically when I'm not collecting Spongebob stuff, you can often see me collecting Hatsune Miku memorabilia. I love her design and the music that her software makes. I think I only have one friend who's more dedicated about Vocaloid than I am, and that's Finn. I'm not sure if you remember that old cringy video where we drew each other's OCs back when they went by Claire. Yeah, we kept in touch all these years later. Let me know if you want Finn and I to make a follow-up video. That would be fun. We've been thinking about that a lot. The other day, both of us woke up really early to look at some figurines. Half of it was just us going gaga over how well sculpted the details were. God, I wish I had more money. That's the only thing stopping me from creating a massive shrine. To add on to what I call Miku Mania, a few months earlier, I was going to the mall with my buddy Duff196. Gee, I talk about this guy a lot. It's almost as if you should subscribe to his channel. Their girlfriend Tracy was also visiting that day. The three of us talk all the time on Discord, so when we all met IRL, you can expect some serious mischief. We went mini golfing and got some Popeyes chicken, not sponsored. Here's where the collecting portion comes into play. At the FYE, there was a Hatsune Miku x Pusheen promotion. I love Hatsune Miku. I love Pusheen. I love pastels. This was 100% right up my alley. So I dragged Scuff and Tracy to the FYE as if I was their spoiled little child. I accidentally bought an extra large crop top, but that's okay since it still fit me. Plus, I can wear another layer underneath it. I also convinced them to try a soda with me. It was delicious. If they still have it, I highly recommend giving it a shot. The last thing I bought was a steak. Andy. There was a lot of, should I, should I not, what will my friends think? Eventually, Tracy and Scuff convinced me to buy it. And now I live a life of no regrets. There was so much Miku stuff at the FYE that I wished I was able to buy. There was also a figurine, some gummies, and an album. I've never seen a Hatsune Miku album in stores, so this was super cool to me. The last story I have to share is a Spongebob one. I saved the best for last, so that side of the fan base will stick around. Did you know that it was an Escalators is real? I'm sure you do, since I talked about it in my last story time. Many people bought this game and made videos about it, and I wanted to purchase it too. I've been waiting my whole life for an IRL version of this game. It was right next to an official I really wish I weren't here right now button. However, it was sold out everywhere. It was never at any of the local Hot Topics, and around November of 2021, they didn't restock online until April of 2022. Sadly, I was late to the party, but I got it in April of 2022. I say it was absolutely worth the wait though. Definitely one of my favorite Spongebob games in the collection. Hey Paramount, if you're watching this, which I highly doubt you are, give us a real life Flying Dutchman's treasure hunt. That should be the next game made. And those were the collection stories I have for today. I might make a part 3 later on if you want to see that. I don't have a moral for this one, so hopefully the entertainment value makes up for it. Now that the story is taken care of, now we can go to the Q&A. Actually, wait a minute. No, we don't go to the Q&A yet, because we have our first video submissions of the season. Check it out. Both video submissions of today were sent in by TJ on Discord. The first video he submitted was Spongebob Midi. <laughs> This mini cover is actually pretty good. It's very catchy and unique. I only have a few critiques. More instruments in the background and having the visual sync up. For example, the flu at the end is a little out of sync. <laughs> 
Other than those two things, you did a great job. Next up is SBSB Compressed. It's actually just Red Miss Squidward. I can't show you a lot of this due to the horror subject matter and the copyright footage, but it's in the Discord server if you're interested. The edit's pretty good. It's not super convincing, but it gets the job done. The filter you put onto it adds to the creepy lost media look. The AI voices are honestly a dead giveaway, but it's really hard to make AI sound convincing until 15.ai makes voice banks of even more SpongeBob characters. I have a cancer to practice for. Let's go see Sandy Patrick. The only other critique I have is Squidward crying at the end. I recommend using more samples to make it sound less repetitive. There's so many episodes to pick from, so it wouldn't be that hard to figure out. I'd also shorten the section a little, or add some more variety to the visuals, so it's not just a still image for minutes on end. I hope these critiques are helpful. Overall, I think this was good. Alright, time for the Q&A. Jose Gastelum says, My favorite video game is Sonic Colors Ultimate. Have you played that game before? I have not. Fiery the Friday Night Funkin' Fan says, Hey Sab, will you go on vacation when it's summertime? If you're already here, good job. I don't know yet. I hope to. I'm definitely gonna try to do something for my birthday at least. SBS10 Animation says, Here's my another Spongebob related questions. Have you played Spongebob games on your Nintendo DS or GBA? I've only owned a DS, the light version version of it, which means I was able to use the GBA slot. I have, and a lot of the games I played were really good. I loved the first movie on the GBA. I can gush on and on about how much I love Atlantis where Pant is drawn to life and Truth or Square on the DS. Please, do yourself a favor. Get yourself Atlantis where Pant is. It's a lot better than the console version. Creatures of the Krusty Krab was also pretty good from what I remember. It's been a while since I played it though. And Super Sponge is charming. Do you ever had a forgotten Spongebob game? Uh, I don't know what could be classified as forgotten. The most obscure game I probably owned was Beach Party Cook-Off, Spongebob Swiggle Pants, I have played Underpants Slam, and the DS version of Surf and Skate Road Trip, but that's really it. Do you have a favorite season 13 episode of Spongebob? Not right now, but honestly this recent batch Nickelodeon just aired is super good. I highly recommend a lot of the episodes, such as Sponge Man Hater Club, Pat the Mailman, even Say Oz is super funny. And my non-Spongebob related questions. What do you think about Sonic Movie 2? Amazing. So much better than the first one. I love Knuckles, I love Tails, and the reveals that they have blew me away. Do you like PlayStation? It was one of the first consoles I ever owned, so yeah. If it wasn't for that, I would have never been introduced to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Nautical Man says, Here's my stuff. 1. What Patrick intro would you make? Probably the one from the Patrick fan special, because that's basically the extended version of the Truth or Square Patrick opening, just with slight alterations. And a lot of people have been asking me for that, but I might incorporate some elements of S. Patricio in it as well. 2. What's your most challenging Spongebob theme song? Currently, Truth or Square and Big Birthday Blowout. Past tense? The original, hands down. That took the most effort to make. That and the international variant. The pilot one is the close second. That didn't take as much effort as the original, mainly because it's shorter and a lot of it is just still images. 3. Would you shoot any Spongebob character with a shotgun? Maybe Stanley? I don't know. Warframe Bob, the Spongebob and Bubble Guppies fan says, Sab, can you make Bubble Guppies reanimated? Nah, I'm not that big a fan of Bubble Guppies, I'm sorry. CJ says, have you beaten Cuphead? And how hard was it? I've only played the game twice. The last time I played it was with Scuff196, right after binging the Cuphead show. I have no hope for me beating the game at all. I don't own it, but I highly doubt I'll be able to make it. If I can't even beat a multiplayer, how can I beat it on my own? Spongebob Master says, What's your favorite voice actor for Sonic? I like whoever does Sonic Adventure. I think he does a pretty good job. Roger does a phenomenal job in Sonic Boom. Ben Schwartz is phenomenal in the movies. And even the new show, Sonic Prime, the guy who plays Sonic there is doing a fantastic job. And I wish him the best of luck. Tad Ladder 11 says, What kind of version do you like? 
Avril Lavigne, Battle for Bikini Bottom, Who Bought What Pants, Original Christmas, or Truth or Square? My favorite would have to be Avril Lavigne. What's yours? Didn't I already answer this question? I don't have a favorite. The Avril Lavigne version is pretty good though. I can see why you like it. The Battle for Bikini Bottom version is also a great way to get around copyright. As a reminder, this week's question is, who is your favorite Grunge Bunch Chronicles character? If you have any other questions, please comment them below. And for video submissions, here are the links to those. They're on Discord or through email. And with all that said, it's all sad from here.